day folks welcome back to mb wildman channel uh today's video is a follow-up to the uh video that we did with the moose candy that uh, moose eruption stuff that we thought we'd try uh it's been raining last couple days here um and actually it rained this afternoon so i thought we'd go in it's been exactly two weeks it's uh sunday july the 12th today and i thought we'd go back in and check out uh check out what we had around our our moose eruption salt slash um you know buck jam type stuff um not really buck jam but it's buck expert i guess is what it's called moose eruption candy coating um so with this fresh rain i thought it'd be a good chance to see some fresh tracks out here on the road at least and we know there's some moose around in the area i've seen one set already uh looks like a cow maybe um nothing you know i didn't see any big bull tracks in here yet but uh, we'll see what it's like, you know, we'll see what it's like getting down in there next to where the salt and the camera are. But, uh, anyway, so listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wildman channel, we sure would appreciate it. Go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, turn on that bell so that you get notified and we upload new content. Hopefully some of our videos pique your interest. And as always, if you got questions or comments, you know, anything along these lines, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can on those. Okay, just coming down into the area here where I have uh, this set up. I've already crossed two sets of moose tracks. Uh, definitely a cow and a calf in one spot. And then likely, well, I'm not sure if it was a, a big cow or a, a bull in the other spot. It's hard to tell. Um, both of them are super fresh, like I would say today or last night maybe even. Um, anyway. Hopefully there'll be some sign down in here. Salt block is still up on the stump, which is good. I don't see any of that candy coating stuff that was around it. Let's take a look here. See what we can see. Okay, well, we did have some heavy rain, so um, the stump looks, I don't know if it looks chewed up any or if it's just, there seems to be some track over this way. Um, hmm. Well, it's not what I had pictured, I guess, although it is hard to see track in here with the grass, but there is some sign over this way. Definitely a few tracks in here. Look like might be moose tracks here. over this way there's uh, something walked right here recently it's even uh not the quite a trail actually right right that way um can't really um tell and there's a track there that might even be a deer track i guess the camera's going to tell us hopefully camera set up right there so it should be at about the right distance for this um with any luck, uh, we'll uh, we'll have some activity in here for, for moose. So uh, I'm just gonna pull the card here real quick and we'll check out the pictures together and we'll see if this uh, buck expert moose eruption candy coating was a success or a fail here for this two week period. All right guys, back here at home. And um, First of all, a couple things I don't love. Uh, only 76 pictures on the camera, and uh, I'm sure that uh, a few of those are me, you know, setting it up, turning it on, walking away, stuff like that. And then, of course, there's uh, some of me coming in tonight. So, um, not a lot of game uh, pictures in the, in the last two weeks, it looks like. And the other thing I noticed is that uh, when I first put this stuff out, um, it was all black and bubbly all over, you know, made that candy coating. Uh, just like it shows right here. Well, when I went in tonight, um, it was completely gone. There was none of that left. So I don't know. I don't know how quickly that washed away. Uh, but we'll see here from the from the pictures. So let's uh, let's take a look at the pictures together, and we'll see if we're uh, sold on this uh, on this product or not. All right. So there's me hanging the camera up. Uh, looks like now my date and time uh, or my dates wrong by three days okay there's the first oh wait a second now what was that okay i was in there on the what says the 25th it was actually 28th but anyway uh that night that looks like a moose right there just coming into the frame okay 
And then, yeah, moose. Okay, whoa, then nothing. So we went from the 25th to the next day, the 26th, and most of that stuff is already washed off of the rock, so, or off of the salt block. And there's our first bear next day, okay. Bear, oh, there's moose um, in the nighttime. Okay, uh, looks like he looks, whoa, he didn't stay very long. Just two pictures of him, so one minute span and then was gone, didn't stay. Uh, there's a bear walking through, bear walking through, bear, bear. Okay, so we got some bears. We're into July now, July 5th. Oh, uh, deer, yeah. So, looks like a doe. Uh, yeah, there's a doe. In there, oh, there's a moose, a little bull. Yeah, that's some antler. He just... Whoa, he just looked at it and then left. I got no pictures of him there anywhere near it. He just comes over, looks at the stump, and then leaves. That's not good. Got a doe here. A uh, doe and a fawn. Oh, yeah, two, a little fawn there. Oh, two fawns. Oh, nice. Two small babies. So a doe and two little ones. They're there for quite a while, I guess. Middle of the night, but it's okay, I guess. Um, another doe in the daytime, gives it a little lick, not much. Oh, she hangs out for bed, I guess. And then gone, there's another doe, or the same doe, back, walks through, and there's me. Okay, um, not loving it at all. Ah, uh, wow. Two weeks, I expect more photographs than that, and far more bear and deer pictures than anything. Um, you can see right off the bat, uh, on like the second picture, the next day, when the first bear came through, the black stuff was already gone and washed off the, washed off the salt block. So the first little smattering of rain we had, that was gone. So, I mean, basically, I got a, a salt block sitting on a stump, uh, and it attracts, of course, deer and bear and whatever else. But uh, in an area where I saw at least t three sets of moose tracks going in tonight to check it, um, I would have expected there to be more moose activity there if this product, you know, was any good. Uh, you know, it's supposed to be, according to the package, it does everything but put a moose in your freezer. So, anyway, um, big thumbs down, in my opinion, for the uh, Buck Expert uh, candy coating, moose eruption, syrup stuff. Um, you're better off to, to put a salt block out, or you're the same, I guess, just to put a salt block out and see what happens. So anyway, hope this helps you out. Uh, and until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.